This is what it was being fed? <laughs> yeah, a can of cat food. He would separate it and, and it would a spoon, okay. and spoon feed this turtle for the last 12 years. 12 years, so that's why this turtle is so overweight. Oh yeah, uh, and, and this stuff too? Yeah, this salmon, sardines, they're treats I guess. <laughs> Chicken of the sea. <laughs> um, not what you should feed turtles, but um, wow, so Frisky's cat food. What flavor we have here? It's salmon. Okay. Well, we're not gonna we're not gonna feed that anymore, no. We're <laughs> going to the shelter for the cats. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> see, we're helping other animals out. All right. Well, let's uh, let's see this giant. Right? He's big. Oh yeah. Okay. So we're at the Popcorn Park Animal Refuge to pick up some more turtles. If you guys have probably learned in our videos by now, we do so much rescue with John and Popcorn Park Animal Refuge over the years. And uh, well, today we've got something very special to show you guys. Among some other turtles, we have a very large common snapping turtle. We got Western painted, right? Two Western. Two Western painted, three Eastern painted turtles. So. Eastern Painted has your pale yellow plaster and sometimes a little bit of black there, but usually it's just a pale yellow, whereas your Western Painted has that incredibly marked red or orange belly with a lot of design going on, and a lot of people confuse these with the Northern Red Belly Turtle. But the difference between the two is the Red Belly Turtle will lose this as it ages, whereas the Western Painted Turtle keeps it for life. And of course, Western Painted Turtles are much smaller than your Northern Red Belly. That's your uh, basic difference between these two. A red-eared slider, of course. No rescue is complete without your quintessential red-eared slider. Oh, there's another one. Wow, look at the size of this. This has got to be the biggest Eastern Painted Turtle. Never seen it. Look at the size of her. Wow. That is a huge female. Now, females are, of course, larger than the males, but uh, if you guys know a thing or two about Painted Turtles, that's a big girl right there. That's really big. In fact, not much smaller than uh, that red-eared slider. Oh yeah, Whew. it stink. Just like our mud and musk turtles, these African mud turtles musk. And uh, well, it stinks pretty bad, but that's a defense mechanism for them. It tries to deter predation, but don't worry, I'm not gonna eat you. We're just gonna give you a new home. Oh wow, she's pretty. Look at that. Another diamondback terrapin. A lot of times people find these as hatchlings along the shore and they think they're helping them. Uh, by bringing them in and raising them up, and uh, they prove to be pretty resilient, but you're actually not supposed to do that. But that is a, a pretty cool looking turtle. Yeah. So if you look around me, you'll notice these bars. You're actually in what was once the elephant barn here at Popcorn Park, back in the 80s, right, John? Yeah, back in the 80s, the late 80s. Late 80s, this was used for an elephant. And now, there's a lot of birds in here, a lot of turtles, and of course, uh, Max, the Aldabra giant tortoise, spends his winters in this big, massive building. You won't believe it. You've never seen anything. Really? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. According to John, I've never seen anything like this. This thing is supposedly pretty huge. You guys know Chief Brody, the alligator snapping turtle, which is of course one of the largest freshwater turtles in the world, the largest freshwater turtle in the United States of America. And the common snapper, no small turtle. They do get to be between 10 and 35 pounds respectively, but um, apparently this guy is huge. So, moment of truth. I close my eyes. <laughs> oh my God. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, that's not fake, that's real. Oh my God, look at this thing. Oh, wow. Come here, buddy. Wow! Oh, I can't get him. Oh my God! Look at you! What? That is the biggest common snapping turtle I've ever seen. Um, one thing you're going to notice right away, though, is this turtle is, in fact, very obese. Uh, if you look here. These are, uh, well, these are his love handles, I guess. <laughs> not, not exactly supposed to be like this, folks. This is from, you know, being fed the cat food and being fed too often, too much. Are you laughing over there? <laughs> He's laughing. 
So this turtle definitely needs um, to lose weight and to get back on track, which we're gonna do for him, get him on a more natural diet. But I cannot, do we know what he weighs? No, he's gotta weigh 50 pounds. Is, is there any way to weigh him right now? Do we have anything? Uh, yeah, can, yeah? Can we, we, go, we go inside if we land. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna weigh this turtle when we go inside to see what we're up against here because this thing dwarfs any common snapping turtle I've ever seen. If any of you guys out there have ever seen one this big, leave your thoughts in the comments or your experiences because this is insane. And I even work with this species in the field as an assistant herpetologist and I've caught some really, really big ones. But this thing is an absolute monster. This, we really gotta get a handle on here. That is not healthy. But, uh, well, let's get him back in the water. Down the movies, buddy. That's the first couple times he's, he's kind of... Uh, yeah. I mean, he's... This wow. is getting aggravated. Right? Yeah, he is. Maybe he's hungry also. Maybe he's mad. Right. Yeah, he probably is hungry. <laughs> okay, easy, easy. All right. Wow. That thing is huge. That's absolutely tremendous. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a challenge, but the good news is reptiles, and turtles are no exception to this, can go a very long time without eating. So we're definitely going to cut him back uh, and try to get him into better health because I'm actually shocked that he hasn't really suffered too much atrophy yet with his muscles. He is striking pretty fast and able to lift his body, but probably in not much more time, those abilities would be gone from his uh, condition and diet. Wow. So how, how does that work with that? Well, he's putting baby. He put it on Facebook and they feel, um Chatter, so if someone was missing it, they would see it. Yeah. Uh, no, that was about three weeks ago. Wow. So, so she's buddies with uh, Tank and Rosie. Redfoot tortoise, a South American species found walking down the street in Bayville, New Jersey. So you see what happens? People can't um, meet the needs of these animals and they either lose them, or sadly some people just let it happen, right? So talk about giant, this is your true giant, one of the two largest tortoises in the world. This is Max, the Aldabra tortoise, yet another rescue here at Popcorn Park Animal Refuge. And um, what you'll notice about Max's back is he's got this really huge scar here. And that's because, now John, if, if I remember correctly, uh, his previous owner was not supposed to have him and never raised the heat lamp, right? Yeah. We, they had four of them, and each each one four of size. He was yeah, he was the biggest, and then there was one probably a third of his size. And as it went down in size, so did the wound. Uh -huh. So we assumed because he never admitted to it that the heat lamp is too hot, too low, and it burned through shells. Um, and we were we went to court, of course, and uh, he was found guilty, and we were awarded uh, max. <laughs> and Max is here at his forever home. And you know, what's interesting is a lot of people don't realize these animals have a different threshold for pain. So, you know, you or me were to touch this heat lamp that's getting too close to us, we're gonna notice it right away and be like, no way. And try to get away from it or, or do something. But these animals have such a high tolerance for pain one of the reasons why they're so resilient and have been around for millions of years that, you know, by the time they realize something's going on, there's a lot of damage, but uh, they got him cleaned up real well. And of course he's got that scar there, but that's really just there to remind everybody about his story and how, I don't care how many times I have to say it, if you can't properly provide for these animals well into theirs and your future, you can't have them. You shouldn't have them. You shouldn't be even trying to attempt to do this. This is a massive, intelligent, needy animal. They're not just deliberate, slow-moving dummies, okay? There's a lot to them. Uh, although they're pretty tough, injuries and even early death can happen. Um, first of all, the wildlife has alerted to uh, some sounds coming out of his backyard, grunting really? and stuff. So they knew they had to prepare for it. The fish and wildlife went there, saw him, saw the injury, and told him he had to get a veterinarian there to, to take care of this. They gave him 10 days, they came back, and he put fiberglass, which burnt even more on the shell to patch it. Never saw a veterinary. And then that's about the time that uh, Hurricane Irene came through and his pen was flooded. And he, he had three others that were also in this water and they all 
had upper respiratories from being out you know, in, the, in cold weather. It was in October and uh, in the wet and the dampness. So that's when Fish and Wildlife confiscated and the mass has to take them and hold them until court. It's gentle giants, not out to hurt anybody. Look at you, buddy. Wow. It never gets old, you know? This is incredible. A beautiful tortoise, even with that scar. True giant. Look at you. So hopefully that gives you guys a nice perspective as to how big Aldabra tortoises can get, but not just Aldabras, Galapagos too, and Sulcatas, those males are not that far behind them in size. John, who is this? This is, this is Jeff. This, this is, is Jeff. Jeff. Wow. Hey, should we go so Max, the giant tortoise, is just one animal with one story here. But every animal at Popcorn Park Animal Refuge has a pretty amazing story. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, everything here is a rescue or surrender, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So talk about a unique place, a unique zoo, where you can see animals that all came from uh, different past stories, some not so fortunate, some a little better than others. And, uh, but every animal here loves this man. So it's really, you know, this is like your walking Doolittle, you know? <laughs> wow. I'm here every day with them and they're like, they're like family. Yeah, of course. This is Savannah. Savannah. And the male is? Aslan. Aslan. And they came together? Uh, yeah. What's their support? We have, actually, we had four of them come in. Mm -hmm. And they come in last July, uh, a year ago, last July. Uh, two tigers and these two lions that just didn't have any place to go. They were in a zoo in Canada. Then they closed down due to COVID. They, you know, they weren't getting the uh, uh, attendance, mm -hmm. so they, they couldn't pay their bills. So, we had another zoo that actually held on to them for us for about a year and a half while we got the signage permits to bring them into the states. Wow. So we got them last July, and uh, we're doing well. These, are, I mean, are huge cats. I've never seen oh, a female. Yeah. I've never seen a female lion that big. She, she is. I mean, I haven't seen anywhere near as many lions as you or Casey has, but that is a massive female. She is, and and stunning. She's so beautiful. For any of you viewers out there that are interested, you can help Popcorn Park Animal Refuge by making donations. So we're gonna leave links in the description of this video so you can check them out on social media and go directly to the website because as I said, everything here is a rescue or a surrender and uh, everybody here bleeds for these animals. You know, this is, this is life, this is family. And then we'll carry that out. We're gonna go weigh him in that... Uh... Right in the back of the park.
final numbers. Everybody gets to guess. I'm guessing he's like an even 50 pounds. 80. John, what's your final guess? 55. 55. All right. right. You ready? It's 250. The tooth. Yeah. You have to tear it. Yeah. Oh my god. Fifty-four point eight pounds. Oh, you win. Wow. <laughs> so a, a common snapping turtle is supposed to weigh between ten and thirty-five pounds, depending on the individual and where its geographical location in nature is. Um, but when you raise them on cat food, <laughs> uh, they can weigh almost fifty-five pounds. <laughs> we should change his name to Unit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You are a big uh, boy. Yeah. Park Animal Refuge, this man right here has turned into an unbelievable sanctuary for so many animals in need. I'll say it again, all rescues, all surrenders, and everybody here considers these animals family. Our little contribution is to try to help out with the rescue of reptiles, particularly turtles and tortoises. This zoo is 11 acres. There are so many species for you guys to come and visit here and learn the amazing stories behind them. And please don't forget, to consider making donations to Popcorn Park. The links are gonna be in the description of this video. And uh, this man is family to us. And you know, you guys, I'm not sure if you guys remember this, but this is how we got Otis. That box turtle that you have all come to love so much came through this zoo and this man before we got him. But we still don't really know much about where he came from. Yeah, yeah. it's just one of those weird things. But uh, I I is there anything you can add to what I just said that you'd want people to know about Popcorn Park? You've said it all, <laughs> okay? And what we'd like to do here is people come and visit, we want them to walk out of here with more compassion for animals than they will do with. Yeah. But I can't thank you enough for helping out. It's no little task if you're taking these things because if we don't take them in here, who knows what's gonna to happen to them? People are gonna release them, yeah. and, you know, they might get killed, who knows? Mm -hmm. But now they have an avenue to bring them to us and then to you, so yeah. thank you very much. It's no small task. Oh, anytime, man. And, uh, you know, if you guys are in the area, the uh, mid to South Jersey area, please come visit this zoo. You will not regret it. You will be very happy. And I promise you, your heart will be full when you leave. So thank you. Thank you.